Hello, all my beautiful people, and how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing fantastic, because today, guys, we are finally doing the eyeshadow palette ranking from 2022. We have 17 palettes to go through to pick from not really the worst, but the ones that I used the least are the ones that I felt like I used the most. Um, so, you guys are ready to check this out, and you want to see what my number one is this year from last year, then stick around and let's Let's do it together. Okay, guys, we are ready to get started. I'm so excited to share these with you. Um, I've been waiting to do this. I've had it out for a while, just finally now getting the chance to actually film it. Um, so anyway, with that said, you may hear some airplanes in the background. I'm doing this later in the afternoon, and we, I live near an airport, and the airport is just so loud, and you hear them all the time. It's very, very warm in my room. It's very hot today here in North Carolina, or it's warmer today in North Carolina. Um, so anyway, we're having some very unusual weather. It's raining. It's very humid, so, and we don't have the air on yet because there's no point in turning on the air conditioning in this middle of the, you know, winter. But anyway, with that said, let's get into this palette. So, the only one that I wanted to say is that I didn't want to mention in this one is the Strawberry Shortcake. I will be doing this in another video. You'll be seeing this after this video um, goes up, so you should be able to see all of that. We're going to be playing with the collection. I'm dying to play with it. Um, it took them forever to get to me, but I'm real excited about it. Um, so anyway, I just haven't had a chance to actually get set down and do it. So I thought we would do a little fun spring, you know, weekend slash type thing with it. So that will be coming up after this video. So make sure you check that out. But I know it was one that was launched in 2022, but I'm going to be putting that one in my 2023 because I just have not got to use it yet. And with that said, I'm going to mention there's two honorable mentions that I want to mention in this one before we get started. Um, and the first one is the, um, this is the Teresa is Lethal collection. I um, mean, this is with Lethal Cosmetic. I've still not really got to play with this yet. I played with the shimmer a little bit, but I've not got to play with this one yet. Um, so I'm really excited to still play with this one, especially in spring, because I think this will be a fun thing to play with in springtime. So we'll definitely be pulling this one out. Another one that I'm really excited about that I didn't get to use it all yet either is, um, this one is my, uh, I'm trying to get, sorry, I'm not very organized today. Um, <laughs> So, this is the Be Perfect Carnival Palette. It is so huge. It's really huge, but look at this. How beautiful are all these colors? Look at all that. I mean, if this is everything in like a palette. It's just absolutely gorgeous. But um, I did pick this up. It was like, I think it was like maybe November-ish or something like that. Um, it just was so many palettes, so many launches, and with the time that is limited, I just did not get to play with this one. Um, I was kind of played with a little bit of the colors just to feel them and stuff, and the pigment is there, so this will be also in my 2023 ranking. Um, and so, with that said, that is all that is just honorable mentions. We're ready to dive into the actual 17 that we're going to be ranking for 2022. Or how I do my rankings is I go by exactly how much I use the palette. How often do I use the palettes? Um, what the, uh, you know, the kind of the quality that you get in the palette, the amount that you get in the palette, regardless of whether it be a quartet or a trio or whatever it may be. Um, that is what I look for when I, when I am looking at palette, regardless of how big it is or how small it is, um, how much I'm going to use it and therefore and so forth. And um, my first palette that, um, it starts at number 17. Um, this is the Tarte Maneater palette. Um, so, I played with this a lot on customers. Um, I did, I, I was in Ulta a lot over the holiday season and, you know, some of, and I was working with Lancome, but in Lancome, we don't have shadows in certain Ultas, so we have to go to other brands to use. And I use this palette quite a bit. Um, I will say it is a very beautiful palette. The colors are gorgeous. It has a very beautiful holiday-ish thing to it. It's something you could use all year round. Um, the only thing that I have to say about it that I wasn't super crazy with it after playing it with it on a lot of customers is the foils are really pretty, but they're darker. So there's not really like a lot of lighter ones. So I feel like they kind of go dark on the eye. So even like something like this lighter one here, like see how dark it looks? It looks darker. It's not really, it's not super light. So there's not an, a light enough foil except for maybe one or two that might be a little bit lighter, but that's one thing I will say about it, it does have a lot of fallout in it. Um, 
but the pigment is there. It doesn't take you long to build it up, but I feel like there's only maybe one color story you can get out of this. I mean, it looks like it has a lot of color stories, but there's a lot of colors that look very similar, that are very similar. So I feel like you're kind of just still doing like almost the same kind of color story over and over again, regardless of what you try to do with it and try to mix it up, which is kind of odd for me because usually if I have a palette this big with this many of a selection, I can usually kind of do a lot of stories with it. But um, to me, it's just, it looks like it's got a lot of options, but really it didn't. Um, but it is a really beautiful palette. If you did pick it up, it's a really good palette. It is really nice. The only thing is, is the first of all, with the fallout and next with just the selections and just some of it being repetitive. But I mean, it is a really good one. I'm not really a big Tarte fan with their eyeshadow palettes, but I mean, um, but it is a really good one and I did like it and I like the packaging. And I like the way it was delivered. So, I mean, it was, it's um, one that I want to play with more. I don't know what I'm going to end up doing with it. I don't know if I'm going to end up keeping it or not. Um, but, uh, you know, maybe later on in the year, but, um, but it, so far, I mean, this is my number 17. My next one, which is my 16 palette ranking, and this is the Love Fest by Huda Beauty. Um, it's a really cute palette. It's not, there's anything wrong with it at all. Um, it's not like anything wrong with Tarte, really. It's just like the reason why it's number 16. It's just, I just didn't reach and grab for it a lot. I did pick this up like, God, when did she come out with this? I want to say it was like maybe... It was like the end of August or maybe September or something like that. And you know, it took me forever to finally use it. It was my last video that I did. I think it was with the 2020 uh, Best of Beauty. I had it on in that. And I really, really love this shade here. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, the shimmers are really beautiful. The mattes are pretty. Um, I mean, it's still, it's a pretty similar kind of palette. There's not a lot you can do with it, kind of similar to the Tarte. It's like it's pretty much got like one kind of a color story. You can't really do too many different combinations with it, I think. But I mean, but it's a really good palette. It's got some really good neutrals in it. I mean, it's got a nice little bit of a fallish vibe to it. A little Halloween-ish going on to me personally. I think it's really pretty. Um, I really enjoy it. I love all of Huda's formulas and um, I bought a couple of these little palettes that she's got, but I was really impressed with it. I like it. Um, you know, it's just something, but it's not something I would absolutely reach for. I would do more with the foil than anything and use it at the top or over another shadow. But I mean, but it is a cute little palette and um, um if you did pick it up i mean it was worth picking up um i just wish i would have used it more Remember, um i think we're on 15 right 15 um in my palette ranking is or actually my eyeshadow rankings um, this is the dior this is the um five color couture bubba deer it's 479 it was the one that they came out with over the summer um it's a really beautiful story it's very basic um, to me, it was, it was a summer palette, but to me, it looked very fall. And then when the fall came out, I felt like the fall was very similar to the summer. So I didn't really feel like there was a lot of differentiate between the fall and the summer. Um, so anyway, it's really pretty. It's a really pretty palette. Um, very natural. I mean, I used it on customers a lot. The customers really like it. It's a very, cause again, it was very neutral. Um, some of them were a little scared of the gold shade in the middle, but it actually is really pretty on my eye. Um, it has a pretty, um, has a pretty swatches but it's very similar to the um the tart so it's kind of that similar kind of story um so i didn't reach for this one much though i mean you know, i don't really not one for five pans and four pans um once in a blue moon i mean like a chanel will come out and i'll really enjoy that but even with the dior like the five pans they're beautiful and because i work with them all the time because i do work for dior if you're new to my channel um i i like them and i but i work with them a lot so i mean so it's not something that i want to gravitate to when Whenever I do a makeup look, I prefer a palette with more choices in it. Um, but it is really pretty and it was really nice. I mean, unfortunately, it was only a limited edition. So um, I don't think it's available anymore. If it is, I'll leave a link down below if it, if they still have it. But, um, you know, I know some stores still have it in store. I know some of the Nordstrom's that I've been in, they still have it. But, I mean, but it is really pretty and it's cute. But, I mean, but I definitely would be something that um, I probably will end up getting rid of. I probably won't end up, like, keeping it. Um, I only used it one time, so I doubt that I'll keep it. But, I mean, but it is nice. And, I mean, and, and she's my number 15. Into the, so, this one I absolutely love. And the reason why it's, it's a number 14 is not because it's a bad palette at all. It's because it just only, there's only four pans in it. And this is the Chanel, um, it's the Le, Le Four Ombres, and this is the 747 Mediterranean. This 
story was just so beautiful. When you look at it, it doesn't look like much of anything, but then when you actually see it, the actual, the, 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 just the, the delivery of the product, it's just so pretty. And it just leaves this beautiful washes of just golds and khakis on the eye. It was just, it's just an absolutely stunning palette. And every time I put it on, I just love the way that it looks. It's just a really cute little, um, four quad, um, uh, palette that I have. Um, I was gifted this palette. I did not go purchase it. Um, one of my subscribers bought me all of the Chanel collection last year in spring because I was trying my best not to buy anything and she just did the Christmas present just sent it to me and I with all my heart just absolutely just lo love it not only for its story but because she sent it to me I also got the blushes I also got a lip tree a lip product that she sent me and um the blushes were great and um they didn't make my actual 2022 um top of beauty but um because I don't know if they're available or not anymore but they were really good too but I absolutely love this palette it's really good it's a really good one i just hate that it's limited edition and that's another reason why it's a little bit more further down is because it's limited edition and you guys can't get it anymore so i wish chanel would sometimes if they sell out of something and they do a really good job with it that they would keep it but i guess that's what keeps them going on with their collections is because they are limited edition and you know what if you can't once you get if you don't get it then you're just not you're out of luck um but anyway but it is a really beautiful palette and that one was my number 14. Okay, moving right along, we are, we are actually what I have on my lips, or one of the things, I have a Dior number 400 lipstick, or the, the Forever Rouge on, the, but this is the ColourPop Fresh Kit, I've got it a little bit over top of it, this is the color Fudge Yeah, so this is the lip lacquer, I have it over top of the Dior, but, um, but with that said, my number 13 is the ColourPop, this is the Not A Box of Chocolate Collection, this is absolutely so adorable, um, I think it's still available, I will leave it down below if it is in my, uh, link in my links. I will leave it down below, but this is just absolutely beautiful. It's a neutral dream. So, anybody that loves neutral colors, um, you don't want to spend a fortune on a palette. I don't remember exactly how much the palette. I want to say it was like 20 or maybe 18 for the palette, but just really beautiful, just beautiful um, metallics, really beautiful neutrals, really beautiful mattes. I mean, you can create really beautiful soft looks with this or a beautiful smoky look with this. Absolutely gorgeous. It's just a cute little palette. So there's like 16 shadows in the palette. It's just really cute. I love the packaging. Love the way that it was delivered. All of the lipsticks were gorgeous that came with the collection as well as the lacquers. It was a beautiful collection that ColourPop did. And this was one I wasn't going to pick up. And my girlfriend, Glam Girl Chelsea, she got it in PR, I believe. And she just fell in love with the whole collection and made me want to get it. And I was actually lucky enough to get um, a set before they completely ran out of it. Um, so I absolutely love this. It's still going to stay in my collection. It's great to have all these really fun chocolate colors to still play with, even though if the palette does eventually discontinue. Um, but I absolutely love it. It's great. It's great to be in with my collection. So I'll definitely be using this more in the future. Okay, so moving along, I'm number 12. And this is the, um, the Sigma and Alice in Wonderland collection. Absolutely just beautiful detail. It's just a beautiful palette all together. I think that when Sigma does these collections like they did Cinderella last year, I think they do a beautiful job with detail. Um, they pay attention to the actual movie. They they it follows the theme of the movie. They just do very good with themes. Um, I also have the um I have the brushes. I have the whole thing. I have the brushes. I have the blush. I have the highlighter. I have the lip products. I actually had the lip gloss in or the lip um cream on in the last video that I just did. Love this collection. It was just absolutely adorable. It is still available. You can still pick it up, as well as the Cinderella. It's still available on Sigma, but it is just a beautiful, beautiful palette. I um, love the details because it came with the little, in the inside, the little insert with her falling down the rabbit hole. And then look at this beautiful color collection. It is really pretty. It came out in fall of this, in September, but it's actually a very beautiful spring story, too. So this would be really beautiful for spring because you have these really cute pops of color in here. So I felt like it was kind of not really out of place for fall, but I felt felt like it would have been probably better in spring. But I mean, but it's just really beautiful, beautiful mattes, beautiful, um, beautiful metallics, just really soft. They're like sophisticated adult um, shimmers. They're not like over the top. They're not like kitty shimmers. They're not super glittery. They're not super chunky. Not, they, don't, they go on really, really smoothly. They're not over the top. 
there's just enough. So it's just a really beautiful palette. It did come with the brush in it. I have the brush in my thing over there, but it is absolutely great. It's a great brush too. Um, but all in all, I love these Sigma palettes. If you have never tried Sigma shadows before, they're really great. And um, I definitely would pick it up. Okay, guys, moving along. So, this one is number 12, I believe. Are we at 12? I think we're at 12. I can't remember. I'm losing track. I can't remember everything. So, this one was the Pat McGrath Bridgerton 2. So, there were two Bridgertons um, that came out this year. And um, I got the first Bridgerton and absolutely fell in love with it. And then she released two. So, two I wasn't going to buy. Two was something that I was kind of thinking about, and it looked kind of cool, but I was like, well, I don't know. It looked kind of similar to the other one, and fell in love with the blushes that came from the collection. I think I even got a lip from it, um, but you know what? Um, this palette is actually really cool. So, this one, um, it's got a really beautiful color story to it. Um, it's a little similar to the first one, but it's a little different. Um, you know, of course, the star of the show is this particular metallic. She's like this green gold slash kind of color. Um, this one's a little bit more neutral, where the other one's a little bit more plum ready with a little bit more of a pop of blue to it. This this particular one in the middle here, she's more of like this almost a sea foam color. Um, so it's got more of the sea foam look to it, but it is just beautiful. I mean, the shimmers that are in these and the Bridgertons. And I think more of the, I don't think these are available anymore. I know the Bridgerton one's not. This one may be still available, but um, these are just great. I love the, what the idea behind it and what she did with it. And I love the pigments. Now they were expensive, I feel like. I felt they were a little bit overpriced. Um, I personally like the packaging. A lot of people didn't like the packaging. I personally like the packaging. I thought the packaging was cool, but there was a lot of people that didn't like the packaging. But I mean, but all in all, it's a, it was a beautiful palette. I'm glad that I picked it up. I just don't play with it as much as I did, but maybe I will use more of these maybe towards spring and we'll, we'll pull out some of these and play with them and do a get ready with me and do some more fun stuff with them because I want to play a little bit more with my stashes this year. Um, so anyway, so I'm definitely keeping it. I'm not getting rid of it. That's for sure. There may be maybe two or three of these that eventually in the long run, they will probably go out the door because I just know that I won't use them at all. But this is definitely one. I don't have a lot of pat palettes because I just, I'm not really, I mean, she's got beautiful product and I'll, and she's got beautiful motherships and stuff. I have one mothership, um, but, and I have a lot of the little four pans, but I mean, and, and I've got like two or three of the, uh, one or two of these. And then uh, there was like two or three of them that I actually got rid of because they just didn't perform well or I just never grabbed them. So, I mean, um, I'm not a super huge fan of Pat McGrath, but I mean, but these I was really a big fan of and I did really enjoy. Okay, so next up is, um, so we're at number 11, I believe. So we're at number, uh, number 11, I believe. I think we're number 11. Um, so anyway, so this is the Too Faced palette. And this is the Femme, was the Femme Fatale? Was that the name of it? Too Femme was the name of it. Um, so it was a beautiful little butterfly collection. So this is from spring of last year. I actually thought this collection was really cute. Um, it's very cute. It has like little pops of shimmers in here, little like fairy dust type products or little particles to it. It does leave a lot of um, flaking on the eye. So when you do it, it's like most of Too Faced. It has a lot of kickback. So um, you definitely would want to do it before you do any eye makeup. But this one's no longer available. Um, I don't think it's on their, I don't think it's on their website. I will leave it down below if it is, but um, I know for sure that it's not at Sephora anymore. Um, neither is the Teddy Bear palette, which was something that I loved the year prior to, but this is really cute. The little spring story they did this year, it's very similar to this one. They're kind of similar, um, but I thought it was cute. I thought it was a cute little palette for what it was and really enjoyed it and got a beautiful look out of it. I feel like I've gotten more out of the lipstick though, the two core. I got more out of it and I definitely got more out of the highlighter than I did this one, but I mean, but it is a cute little palette and I did enjoy it out of some of the ones that I've so far went through. I have played with this one a little bit more and used it more just for quick looks or something really quick to put on. Um, but, but it is really cute and I did really enjoy it. So that was my number 11. Getting ready into our top 10. So, um, so this one, um, I have to say I'm not super impressed with this particular palette. I did when I first tried it, but you know, I, th I'm going to be honest with you guys. So this is the, I'm just, let me just tell you what it is. So this is the major dimension palette. This is the number two. Um, I had number one, which is already, already, even with what little bit I've used it, what little bit that I've used it, it's already started getting kind of like hard panned and it's not doing a very good job. And it's like, cause that's now what, about a year and a half old now. And this one came out last spring. Um, 
I don't know why I picked this up. It's really pretty. It's a beautiful palette. It's a very rose gold kind of palette. Um, the metallics in it are really beautiful. I mean, they're, it's a really pretty palette. I just never pick up his palette. Um, and I've already saw previews of what he's kind of come out with in, um, this year. And again, it's more browns and more, I mean, I'm just not interested anymore. So I'm kind of losing interest in some of Patrick Todd's stuff, just like I am with Pat McGrath. I feel like some of it is just being reprocessed over and over again. I will not be picking up another palette of his, that's for sure. Um, I'm not saying, I love his blush palettes. Um, I love his cream blush and I love his cream bronzer and his uh, powder bronzer. I love those. Um, one of the compacts that he came out with with the blushes in his past year, I absolutely hate it. I didn't like the one that he came out with this year. The one the year previous would was better for holiday. So, I don't know. I'm just in there with, Pat, with um, Patrick. He's just not really, I'm not feeling him anymore. Um, but so, I would definitely see this being decluttered, believe it or not. Even me only using it one time. I would probably see it used and decluttering it. Because I'm, I'm not picked this up since I reviewed it. That, that's showing you how much I used it. But with that said, the reason why it's a little higher up is because it is a good palette. It is really beautiful for what it is. Um, I just feel like it's just something that I just was not super crazy about. But the color story is beautiful. It's very neutral. You can use it over and over again. If you guys have used this and if you love it, you know, please leave a comment down below on how much you love it and how much you use it. I love hearing that. So that's great. And I'm glad that it worked for you. It's just for me, it's just another, it's just another rose gold kind of a palette. And it is really pretty. And the reason why I did put it up here is because of the quality and the beauty and all of that of it. Because it does work and it works really well. Unfortunately, I just didn't use it as much as I did some of the other ones that we're getting ready to go into. But um, but anyway, that's it with the Patrick Toss. So, I mean, you know, but I'm pretty much sure that it and number one both will probably end up hitting the battlefield soon. Okay, guys. So, I moved up a little. I pushed it back just a little bit. I felt like I was too close. <laughs> I wanted to back up just a little bit. I was like, wait a minute. I'm like way too close up. So I tried to move my camera back a little bit further. So that way it wouldn't be so right in you guys' faces. Um, so we just had a little bit of room to talk a little bit more further back. So anyway, so, so now we are up to our number nine palette. And my number nine palette was the Nomad Cosmetics. This is the Hudson Valley. Absolutely love this palette. It is so gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. The detail on this palette is just stunning. The way that it looks, the way that it feels, it feels like this beautiful matte almost like fallish way that it feels to it. The theme in it is just absolutely gorgeous. The pigments in it are just insane. Absolutely beautiful matte. And then it has a row of shimmers in the middle and the shimmers are just so pretty. Um, really excited to be partnering with Nomad Cosmetics in the future. In the spring, I think they put me on their PR list. I'm not really sure, but I think they put me on the PR list. I'm very excited to be able to um, work more with them um, because I just absolutely loved the palette. Absolutely loved their formulas. Um, just thought it was just a beautiful overall palette. And I've seen many others of their palettes and all of them just look incredible. Um, the, every, the quality is theirs. So everything is great. Um, I only I haven't got to play with it a lot. Since I've able, when I first did it again, because it came out right in October, maybe September. Um, so a lot of lumps just came out, so I wasn't really able to use it. And since I don't use eyeshadow every single day, um, it was a little harder for me to get back to this one. But just because of the quality of this palette is so great, and I'm playing with a lot more indie brands, which actually there is another, maybe another one or two indie brands in here. Um, another one more indie brand in here um, that I absolutely fell in love with too. This is just a beautiful palette. So it really, from here on out, all of these palettes are pretty much created equal. I just, it was really hard to place them at a certain spot because this would be one that I definitely would pick up a lot, even though it's got a little bit more of a fall theme to it. It's still something you could use all the time. It's still got very neutral colors in it. It's just a really good palette. Number eight, and, um, and it is the Miss Natasha Denona Pastel Palette. I absolutely love this palette. It's so beautiful. As soon as I seen it, that she was coming out with it, I would just fell in love. It's just beautiful. It's it's the same. It's the beautiful formulas that Natasha has. Her mats are gorgeous. Just really beautiful for them to be 
like pastel colors. She really did a good job, I think, with the matte and the, some of the shimmers and the way that she did it. Um, I'm hoping to pull this out again in spring. I know she just came out with the mini version of this one um, right after Christmas. And, um, you know, and some people said it. it's really wonderful. It's a $25 one. So if you didn't want to go out and spend the money on this one, you could definitely pick that one up. I think it was only, it's only $27. Um, so it's a it's kind of a little more of a mini me of this one. It's like only five, but I mean, but if you want a little more of a punch of color, that would be a good one to start. But this is just a really beautiful overall palette. I really enjoyed it. Again, it's not one that I got to use a ton of um, because there's just, you know, everything just takes priority and I just kind of get it pushed back. But um, I'm hoping that we get to play with this more in spring because I really love this formula and I really think it's a really good palette. And um, if it definitely one, if you love a little color, or you want to try a little color in your life, this is definitely one that you should pick up. My number seven and going on my number seven is another Natasha Denona palette. And this is the My Dream palette. Absolutely gorgeous color story. Beautiful. I mean, she came out with this one in fall, but it's a very good color story for any time of year. So it's not just the color story for fall, but but it's got beautiful mattes in it, beautiful neutrals. You can go glam with it. You can go very natural with it. It's a gorgeous palette. Again, her pigments are just insane. The beautiful mattes are soft and buttery. They go on really beautiful. Um, the shimmers have a really beautiful softness to them. So they're like a sophisticated shimmer. They're not anything that's crazy or anything, but it gives a beautiful eye. Um, and there, it's a great day to night palette. Um, when I did the review, I actually did a day to night with it. I think it's an amazing day to night palette. I think it's a great one too, that if you want something that's gonna have a little glamour in it, but you want something kind of soft, but you want some really beautiful colors. Cause this is again, as a color story that you could use all year round. It's not just for fall, it can be any time. Um, it is a really good one to pick up. And I even used a lot of these for liner and they did a really good job with liner. They're, all of her formulas are great wet or dry. Um, but it is a really beautiful palette and it definitely was, um, I'm so glad that it was up there on my top of my list. Woo, we have talked a lot today. Let me tell you, I've talked a lot today. I'm like, I've been in my room now for, I don't know how many, like four or five hours already locked up in my room filming for you guys. So I'm, I'm telling you, I'm getting topped out. Let me tell you. So anyway, so uh, we are up to, what was that number? I think we're number, is it number seven? Maybe number seven, number six. Am I getting behind? Oh, guys, I'm I'm off. I'm sorry. This one is number five. I don't know how I got off. I don't know how I did that. I mean, I'm I'm not really. I don't think about it sometimes. The numbers. So forgive me if I got the numbers mixed up later. And I mean, just forgive me. Just just scratch it and just just go along with it. <laughs> So anyway, so my number five palette is the um, is the Pat, Pat McGrath Bridgerton One collection. I use this one a few times. I use this is probably one of the and even for blush. I use this one. I absolutely love this one. This one's great. I use this one quite often. These next few. I've used quite a few times. So it's like out of all of the palettes, these are the ones that I've used the most. The next five are the ones that I've consistently used over and over again. Since I've gotten them, I've nonstop using them. But it is just absolutely beautiful. Just love this color collection. Beautiful as blush. Both of these are great as blushes. This is my favorite. I absolutely love it. I did this one in my cold look. I actually used this and it just made it look so pretty. Um, it's just a beautiful overall palette. Um, unfortunately, they this one is not available anymore this one's already with it was a limited edition and she did have it out for a while um but it is gone now i think bridgerton 2 may be still available but again i will leave a link if it is um but i know this one's gone already so it's no longer available but it is a really beautiful palette and i'm glad to have it as part of my pat mcgrath collection and part of my shadows and i'm so glad that i picked it up because i wasn't going to but i'm glad that i did and um you know and it's been worth it and i've used it quite a bit and i've just really enjoyed it okay so now we are at number five so i mean i'm sorry am i still on number five why am i still <laughs> sorry number four forgive me number four so i'm on number four and the number four palette is the huda empowered palette love this one i've done a few looks with this one absolutely love it i love the gold in it the gold are what i go for actually these is what I really go for. This and this right here. Absolutely love this one. Love this one. Love this one. Just gorgeous. I have, 
used most of these. Um, I think I've used just about everything except for maybe Manifest. I haven't really used a lot. Big Dreams, um, I haven't used very much. A really beautiful overall palette. It's really gorgeous. The only thing I will say is she has two cream liners in here. So one is like a brown, it's like a taupey brown, and one is like a black. And it's kind of like the Patrick Ta because it has the cream in, in it, uh, in the palette as well. Um, the only thing I would tell you about these is if you put a shadow over or whatever, it will move around. So don't use it as a liner because it will smudge. Um, even if you set it with powder, it will smudge. It doesn't stay on well because they're a little more on the mullient side. So if you're going to use it as a base first, that's fine and packing a shadow over it. Just remember that they're kind of a little bit more of like that og eye gloss type um, feel to it. Just like um, this one here, the Manifest, she's got a little bit of that. It's kind of this creamy-ish kind of like feel to it. So it's kind of like crazy. So it's got a little bit more, not greasy, but it's just a little bit more emollient type to it. Uh, but it is a really just overall beautiful palette. Um, Huda does amazing palette. I love it. I love the rose quartz one that she has. I love the rose gold of the masters. I love that one. Um, you know, just a lot of palettes that I just really, really enjoy. But, um, but this one's a really beautiful one. I'm glad that I picked it up because you know, it's Huda. She's one of my most favorite brands that comes out to just about anything that she comes out with. I definitely want to pick it up because they're so gorgeous but it's just a really super beautiful palette um so definitely if you have not checked it out if you're in Sephora give it a look but I mean but it's worth it because I think you get a lot of neutrals and a lot of things a, a, a lot of shadows that you were looking for in one palette and it is really nice okay, before I start rambling because I know I'm gonna start rambling so <laughs> I start being like all over the place because my brain is getting tired. So I'm like, oh, I'm getting tired. Okay. So anyway, um, so now we are down to the last three palettes and I um, absolutely love this next one. Um, it's another indie brand that I picked up this year that I tried that I've never tried before. Um, and this is the um, the Sydney Grace um, with Mel Thompson. Um, it was a bundle that she did with them on her version of the Natasha Denona Retro Palette absolutely gorgeous. All these pigments are so pretty. I can't wait to use these in spring, especially this one here. Um, and this one, there's this one here. I can't wait to use those in like a mint with like a little bit of a mocha. I can't wait to create a beautiful uh, spring eye with that. I'm so excited about this. The pigments are just beautiful. They're melty. They, they're buttery. They don't, they don't flake. I mean, you know, you don't get any fallout. I mean, they're just amazing. And they, sh they do sell these singly. So you can buy them singly and I think they're like $8.00. The only thing is you have to get a palette, you know, which they do sell as well with a magnet on it for you to actually uh, put your shadows in because they don't come in a palette. So you just have to buy the palette separate. I got this one on, um, this is an Adept um, palette. I got this off of Amazon um, and I keep my Scott Barnes in here too. But anyway, it's just really beautiful. It's just, they're be beautiful color story. So many good neutrals and so many really beautiful shimmers. Again, very neutral. You can wear all your round. It's not just, you know, um, a spring or summer. It's something you can wear all year round. Um, it's just a great overall shadow quality. Um, if you've not tried out Sydney Grace, I definitely would give them a check out because they are worth checking out. Um, so I'm really excited to try out more indie brands this year. So, I mean, uh, and definitely more of Sydney Grace. So, in um, anyway, and Mel also has another palette by them that is a Tiny Marvels palette. I have not tried that one. I have my good friend Tara Lynn, who was really good friends with Mel, loves that palette. I think Chelsea loved it too. Uh, it's just beautiful pigments in it. It's a real, also another cute color story like this one, but Mel actually collaborated with them on that one, and that one is still available too, and I forgot how much it is. I want to say it's around the 60 mark maybe for that palette too, but really beautiful palette as well. So if you wanted to check that one out, you could. Maybe one of these days I'll get to pick that one up too, because that would be a really fun one for spring and summer too. Hey guys, down to the last two. And this one, I know you guys are gonna laugh at me. You're just gonna laugh at me. You're gonna laugh at me, it's a Gabe. This is really your number two. Out of all of those really good shadow palettes, this is your number two palette. But you know what? It's like, it's it's my ranking and I can put what I want as number two or whatever I want. So anybody can just disagree with me and that's perfectly fine. But my number two is the Kylie and Wizard of Oz palette. <laughs> I love this palette. I 
love it. It is so fabulous. I just, probably every eyeshadow look after I got this palette was, was with this palette. <laughs> I just couldn't put it down because to me, it's just perfect. Not only is the packaging because it's got, you know, the Wizard of Oz and I love that. Um, it's just, it's a, it's a great theme. I just felt like it was, I mean, and everything in the collection was great, but I mean, everything in this palette is just great. I mean, not only that you got the, you have the little design of them on the top of it and all of the eyeshadows are named after the movie. Um, and then, you know, then it's got the highlighter and it has the blush. The blush is incredible. It's one of my favorite blushes of the year. Um, I mentioned it a little bit in my, I think it was in my 2022. I mentioned that there was a face palette that I had that had a blush in it. I love, I love this blush. It's just like the perfect pinchy peachy pinky with a little hint of red in it. It's just a beautiful blush and it's really pretty. The highlighter is really pretty too, but the blush is great. I love all of the shadows because I've used all of them many times over and over again. I absolutely love Sweet. Um, I absolutely love Tin Man is one of my favorites. I love Dorothy. Um, I love Glenda. Um, I love the uh, broomstick. I love that one. It's a beautiful matte. The mattes in here are just beautiful. I mean, I feel like they're, it's kind of like, almost like an indie palette, um, the way it's kind of set up. I mean, the mattes are great. Um, the only, the Wicked Witch, I didn't get to use much. The Wicked Witch, I didn't get to use much of her, but um, I just love it. But I did get to use a little bit of Scarecrow. It's a really beautiful color. It's just a great overall palette. This is still available. Um, the lips are still available. The palette's still available. Um, I think Ruby Slipper's still available, but the actual green lip tint is not available. But you can still pick up this palette. Um, I think the palette runs for $45, and you might be able to pick it up on sale now that it's over, Christmas is over, because it was, it was considered it was a holiday palette. But it's a great palette for all year round, because you got a little pops of everything. It's still got neutrals in it. It's just a great overall palette. It's not just a holiday palette to me. It's like any time of year type of palette. So I'm really excited about this one. I'm glad. It's my first Kylie. I've never bought Kylie's stuff before, so I've heard a lot of good things about it, and I've heard a lot of people say that it was some of it was good some of it's not um i just really enjoyed it and i just think it's a great palette that's just the, all it is to it so i mean this is my number two and now we are down to the last one and again you're probably gonna say game really really this is your number one palette this this is your number one pat mcgrath you know celestial odyssey was your number one last year and you went to this one as your number one but you know what I can't help it. And you know, and every time I'm in store or I'm in Ulta, I sell these because they just, I just love it. It's just a great palette. It's just a great palette. <laughs> I can't help it. It is just a great, amazing neutral palette. I'm just telling you. I said my number one palette is the Too Faced Born This Way palette. Just the natural nudes, not the newer one, not the Sunset Boulevard one, but the natural nudes. Because it is just such a good palette. It's just great. It has, Every matte and neutral, it's like the most, probably most boring palette ever, but I have used this over and over and over again. It's probably the one that I've reached for besides the Wizard of Oz. Um, just absolutely just love it. It's just a great palette. I mean, you got beautiful mattes in here, soft shimmers in here. They're just really, they're beautiful. They're soft, they're buttery. Of course, it's Too Faced, so it has some fallout. So just keep that in mind when you're you're doing your eyes or whatever, just to do your eyes first, because it does have some fallout, especially the metallics they do have some fallout on some of them some of them a little, little bit more you know they have that little bit more of a, a flakiness to them than others so just have to be careful with it but overall guys this is just a great palette and i think it's like 40 dollars. it's like 40 dollars. it's just great it's a great value um people that are very intimidated by colors or certain textures and stuff like that just absolutely love it it's beautiful on all types of eyes you know it's on a much younger eye and it's also very beautiful on a mature eye um i've done it on a lot of customers as well as on myself and it's just a really good one to reach for, especially the matte. I love the matte. The matte formulas are very, it's a very 90s kind of palette to me, um, but I just love it, guys, and I mean, I just have to tell you, this is a really good palette. Um, um, I've heard you guys in the comments when I did review this palette that told me that you had it and you did love it. It's just a great one to reach for. I mean, you know, this one, the chocolate one, um, you know, some of the, the Huda and maybe the Dream palette, some of them have some really good neutral shades in it, um, so they're 
just really good ones that you can use all the time. This one is just a great everyday palette. I mean, you can go smoky with it. You can get smokier with it. You can um, get jiggy with it and play with it and get a much more um, <laughs> bang for your buck out of it. It's just a great overall palette. And that's the reason why it's my number one is because I just really enjoyed using it a lot. And... That is it, guys. Finally, we are done. We are done with our rankings for the year. That is it. We are finished. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please make sure you give a thumbs up. Um, you know, um, make sure you ring the bell. If you haven't rang the bell, make sure you ring the bell so you can get any notifications. If you did like what you saw, if you didn't like what you saw, then I hate to tell you. So, I mean, it is what it is. This is, is what it is. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> If you stayed this long, I'm so glad that you did. And with that said, guys, be safe, be strong, be proud, then tall. Love yourself. Remember to tell somebody that you love them today because life is way too short. Also remember to be kind to someone because kindness can go an awful long way. And um, also have a little joy in your heart, a little laugh, a little smile. You know, any of that makes your day much better, much brighter. It makes everybody else's much brighter as well. And take care, guys, and we will see you again in the next episode. Yay! So we'll see you later. Bye. Mwah.